Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to show you how to use an application called CodeKit to not only install your compass, however, watch your SCSS files and compress them. It will also optimize your images and compress your JavaScript. It's a really nice app, and right now it's in beta, so you can try it out for free. If you go to incident57.com slash codekit, you can see that the latest version is available for here for download, so you can just click download and then open the app. Okay, once you have the app open, this is what it looks like. So I just have a new project here that I just made a folder for, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop this entire folder my entire project folder, I'm just going to drop it right here. As you can see, it's recognized some of our files. It says, okay, here's an SCSS file it's going to watch, and here's an index file. Um, of course, I don't have any scripts, I don't have any images, so it doesn't see those. However, um, if I were to save my SAS, um, it could compile for me. In fact, I could tell it to automatically compile. So to set up Compass on this project, I'm going to right click on this folder here and I'm going to say Compass and then use Compass on this project. What's really great is that it says there's no configuration file. What do you want me to do? So I'm just going to say install Compass. And here, uh, if you recall about the config RB file, this will generate this config RB file for you and you can set your image folder and everything directly here. Uh, which is maybe a little bit nicer interface than you're used to with doing it in the config RB file in Compass. So we're going to keep our CSS and CSS, our style sheets and style sheets, and uh, JavaScript. This will be JS, although we don't have a JavaScript folder. And I want to say I want my CSS output to be compressed because uh, that's nice and, and ready for uh, production. Okay, so in uh, environment, I'll also set to production. Okay, we can click Add Compass to Project, and you can see it's added our IE, Print, and Screen style sheets, just like when we installed Compass via the command line. Okay, so now you can see that the little Compass logo is next to our project here. That means we have Compass in CodeKit. Let's open up my SCSS file here, and we'll just do an Add Import, and then Compass. I'll save it. And you can see it says, you know, if you have Growl installed, this will pop up here and it'll say Compass ran successfully. We can check out our, our code kit and if there's any errors, they'll show up an error in here. Uh, however, since we're not doing anything yet, there's not going to be anything really in your CSS file. However, you could see that because I ran this at import Compass, I saved it and there was no problems. That means Compass is correctly installed here. So just to further verify that it's working, let's just add a style to an anchor. It's also worth pointing out that CodeKit only runs on OS X 10.7 line and not any older version of OS X. So if you want to check out CodeKit, I would recommend checking it out, downloading it while it's still free and getting to try it. It's a really nice little app that sort of speeds up your production time and makes it so you don't have to deal with the terminal so much. Well, that's it for CodeKit. Once again, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave a comment on the video or hit us up at Twitter at Level Up Tuts. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.